We actually played today, so <laughs> lots of scrimmage today. We, we did a few drills and then had uh, a couple periods of scrimmage, so they got to play today. We played a little three-on-three. Three. Uh, so that part of it, uh, I think the same as you just mentioned. They like to play, so we're, you know, it's a little bit, little bit different, but we actually, we do have some practice time. There's some things we want to work on, but we also got to be cognizant that you got to keep them fresh-minded and so we got out there and played a little bit they had some fun playing against each other and Mike Smith gave up two bad goals and pulled himself already so it's uh, it was it was a good day <laughs> all right and I know we're still kind of waiting for when these games might be made up I don't know if you can tell us anything um, that might be envisioned or was was there even any th thought of trying to find you guys a game against Toronto or Ottawa maybe I think there's been lots of talk going on. I know Ken was uh, was at a call with the league again this morning. I haven't talked to him since then, but uh, there's lots of conversations going on. As far as I know now, we're we're Saturday night in Toronto, and that's what we're kind of focusing on. But the rest of it is still uh, a work in progress, I think. Herb Zerkowski, Montreal Gazette. Thank you. Uh, hey, Dave. Of course, when we spoke to you yesterday, you were preparing for a game tonight. That game now will not be played. Game yeah. Friday won't uh, just what was your uh, initial reaction uh, when all this went down and, and, and now how do you feel about uh, potentially having to return here after the regular season? Well, I, you know, we're, we've had the attitude all year long. It's, it's, you know, it is what it is. There's going to be some challenges. There's going to be some things come up that are out of the norm and we just have to deal with them. So I think our, our mindset is, is we were prepared for some of these things. Some of these things, we, we haven't had too many of them that uh, have come our way yet. This is the first kind of major one that's that's uh, affected us, and we're just going to deal with it. And whatever uh, the schedule brings later on, we just we have to deal with that also. So it's uh, unfortunate that it happens, but it wasn't something that was unexpected for us. Um, you know, if you'd gone through the whole year without any interruptions, you would have been grateful, but you would probably have been surprised also. So... We're just kind of taking it uh, as part of what this season is. It's not a normal year. We're just going to say, you know what, it's just part of what we have to deal with. And, and uh, whether we play tonight or, you know, at the end of the season, you still got to play the games. It's just we'll, uh, we'll prepare accordingly when the game's in front of us. Do you think the games should be played, or, or would you like to see a system based on winning percentage? No, I think I think to make it fair, you should play. Every team should play the same amount of games before they enter the playoffs. Mark Spector, Sportsnet. Hey Dave, I'm sure you're aware of the refereeing uh, controversy that happened last night with Timmy Peel. Uh, the thing I'd like to ask you about, without asking you to dig in too hard on the, on the individual ref, is game management. We're never sure exactly what game management is. You've been in the game for a long time. When a referee is managing a game, what do you? How would you define that? Well, I haven't. Uh, just somebody mentioned to me about Timmy. I haven't seen the thing with uh, what they're talking about here yet, so I haven't heard it or anything. But uh, you know, I don't know. It's a tough job for the referees. They, they, uh, you know, you you talk about all the time. You can come out of it and. Both teams seem like they've got the same amount of penalties now. You can find games that that's not true also. So whether it's, uh, you know, making sure that both teams are are uh, get their fair share of power plays or whatever it is, that's, that's what the perceived game management is. Um, I think you've probably seen less of it, you know, this year with no fans. I think that's one of the things, one of the things that is, uh, kind of a, seems like has affected the game is the there's no no outside pressure for anything for players or referees or you know that outside the fan pressure from the game and the emotion and that comes with that affects both I think players fans or players referees and coaches so uh, a little bit different this year but I, I don't know I don't know if there's much to game management from the referees point I mean there's game management from coaches point 
that sometimes is affected by what the referees do. But uh, ultimately, I haven't seen it. I haven't. I haven't. Uh, I, I got to see it before I can comment too much on it. That's fine. There's there's players. I know that Oilers coaches for, for you even and Oilers people would say that Connor McDavid doesn't get protected enough by the officials. And there's some who say every infraction should get called all game long. That's just how it should be. Uh, what would the game look like if the referees called every single infraction all game long? Or are you in favor of that? Well, you could call every every infraction, but there's there's kind of different degrees of it. You know, the game it just happens so fast. Like, so just take for instance, you got a guy that and and go to Connor. Like, how many times he gets not slashed, but guys try to hook his hands. Sometimes they get a stick. Sometimes it. Looks like it goes to his hand off his shin pad. I mean, if you just, if they called every one of those, we'd have a bunch of power plays a game, you know? So, and it's funny when the, when the game's on, there's someone all say, oh, that should have been a call, but then I'll look at it later and say, you know, that would, that probably shouldn't have been a call. So there is, there is some things, but there is, there is a, uh, you know, expect you, you know, you go to, the the concept of okay there's regular season refereeing and there's there's playoff refereeing right regular season usually there's more called refs in the playoffs they'll usually let more go because the play the the refs don't want to be have an impact on the outcome of the game so they're not going to call a, a soft call they're going to they're going to let the players dictate it ultimately i think that's the way players would like it but you know when you have a call in a game that may be perceived as a soft call then from a coaching standpoint you look at okay that's the standard that's set for tonight so you're looking for a bunch of more soft calls you know and if there's if that's not called then everything evens out so there's lots of feelings that go into the game but it's it happens so fast it's so hard for the referees it's it's um i don't think there's ever going to be a perfect solution for it Jason Berger, PSN twelve sixty. Dave, you mentioned how you had some fun today at, at practice. Uh, you, you know, you, you your team historically the last year and a bit. But when you got a few more days of practice, you definitely look sharper. But your team was actually playing quite good going into this. So, is there anything specific that you wanted to sharpen up in your team's play at practice this week? Yeah, there's a couple things that we've we've talked about, and you know we'll practice again tomorrow. Today was more about getting playing, and uh, you know you have a week kind of sitting around. It's just we needed to get some energy out today. So tomorrow we'll look at a few more tactical things, and there's there's different times that you know if we have a few practices in a row, one will be kind of a harder practice, the other one will be more tactical, you know, some walkthrough stuff. So you try to you know touch all the bases you can, and it's been a challenge this year because you know you just don't get enough practice time. So we're trying to maximize what we're doing because of what happened with the schedule here, and hopefully we touch a few things that allows us to keep playing well. You know, you mentioned we we, we were playing well, which is right, but we want to play well all the time. So that's that's the goal. And uh, you know, these five days off obviously wasn't scheduled, but after your two games in Toronto, you have another three day break. You only played ten games in twenty seven days. Till the end of April, like you, you know, I know you talk about it, and I agree with you that adding the games on makes the most sense. You play your 56, but do you take that into account now that all the perceived rest you're going to have after this difficult time, you know, and, and how do you feel that can benefit your team? Where can you get better at with that more days off of practice time in the next month? Well, first of all, you got to look at. I'm not. I'm not sure. They might try to. You know, all the three games against Montreal, they might not come at the end of the year. They might try to fit them in somewhere. So you never know. There might be a, a situation where we get thrust into a game again, you know, uh, before the end. So so we're, it's hard to count how many games. We were we were just talking. We were going to have, what was it, 11 and 21 or something, and now we're, now we're on the other side. So you just, you know what, you, you look at it and, and you just try to manage it the best you can recognize when you can get some rest and when you, uh, you know, you're going to have to make sure we're erring on the side of uh, uh, rest versus working them a little bit and getting some stuff done in practice. But that's, that's no different than every regular, every season. But this season, it's more of a challenge with the shortened schedule and the 
perceived more days to uh, or less days to practice. Final two questions, Jim Matheson and Jack Michaels. Go ahead, Jim. A couple of things, Dave. You, you had three on three uh, games today. Were there some players griping at you, saying, okay, I, we'd like to play three on three now? And it's not Connor and Leon or, and Tyson Berry. No, we, 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 we gave everybody had a chance to play today, so everybody was happy today. So that's what we're going with today. Yeah, but um, uh, but there's yeah. there's some guys that might be a little better at it than others, and that's that's just the way the game goes. Okay. Uh, and Oscar have a surgery tomorrow yeah i mean i presume you're thinking okay hope the doctors can get in there and find out exactly what's wrong and, and fix the shoulder that would be that would be huge if that could happen you know but he's he's had a hard go with it but i'm glad he's getting it getting it fixed finally and uh you know hopefully a speedy recovery and we'll see where everything goes jack michael 630 chad Dave, just to kind of piggyback a little bit on what Jason was talking about, you go from a week where you have four and six to nothing until Saturday in terms of gameplay. So how quickly, once you found out that that would be the situation, did you kind of revise your action plan for the week, come up with a certain practice schedule did you, that you wanted to hit, and did you pull some things out that you were probably going to save for another you know, break and practice and try to implement those in this week. Yeah, there was some things that we had planned for some of the days off that we had coming. So we're we're kind of improvising. But really, it's, I mean, this has gone, you know, we didn't find out. A lot of guys thought we were traveling today. And we had a text go out late last night at 11 o'clock saying we weren't, you know, traveling so there's there's been a lot of things going on behind the scenes between games and getting us moving so it's uh you have a plan in place but it's read and react right now but but there are some things that when the practice day you know we we say okay this is a practice day we're not playing until saturday now uh now you put things in place and we get some work done